Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and happy Sunday. Guys, I got a special uh, treat that I'm going to share with you guys today. I have never did it before on the channel, but I should have did it. But I will be making some, not the old fashioned kind, but some homemade vanilla ice cream guys guys this is all this always have been a fond memory for me that is the reason i wanted to share it with you guys especially with this being the end of the summer season and stuff this is um this sunday is the sunday before labor day labor day is tomorrow so we getting our ice cream ready today Guys, let me tell you, because I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. And uh, I feel that you can use this here, um, the same recipe probably in any kind of ice cream churn. Um, uh, well, you, we used to call them churn, churns a long time ago, but I think they just now elect your ice cream makers. And I just want to share this recipe with you. It's a vanilla recipe, and if you want to take anything like peaches, bananas, a strawberry, or either make you a Rocky Road, um, some Rocky Road ice cream, you can just add it, add those extras to this mixture, and not make it up. You know, some of them may be different, but this is a good recipe right here, guys. That is the reason I wanted to share with you guys, and I probably will be in my cookbook put the old-fashioned way. That uh, what is it? You okay? Fine. The uh, the old-fashioned way that um uh, that uh we used to uh make up the ice cream mixture. Uh, Tuck maybe having some technical difficulties right here on the camera, so I'm waiting for him to get straightened out. You got it? Go go ahead. Okay um uh, okay I think he got it fixed. Um, so anyway guys I'm going to tell you these this basic stuff that I know you're going to need I'm going to just tell you part of it and then I'm going to come I'm going to do the next part over there at, at the uh, ice cream churn and then uh, we're going to freeze it and that's going to be the end of the video but I just wanted to share this with you guys tell you the ingredients that I use to make uh, my vanilla ice cream in the ice cream uh, machine Okay, guys, uh, you're going to need two cups of whole milk, and you're going to need two cups of half and half, and then you're going to need a whole quart, which would be four cups of the heavy whipping cream. And then uh, you're going to need, I normally put two, and probably two and a half tablespoons of vanilla, and if you had some uh pure vanilla beans that you want to throw over in there. Oh, that's, that would make it great. But you know, I, uh, you know, they, you have to go online to get them and whatever, so I didn't bother with them. So I'm just going to put the vanilla in it like we used to. And guys, that is two cups of sugar. And um, then that's a half a teaspoon. I got a half a teaspoon of uh, sea salt in that little bowl. And then guys, you're going to need a uh, about two cups, approximately two cups of uh, ice cream salt, rock salt or whatever one you want to call it, ice cream salt, and you're going to need some ice. I don't have the ice naturally. I don't have the ice over there. And you're going to need some ice, and I'll be showing you them steps when I get back over to the uh, ice cream maker. But let me tell you guys what I'm going to do before I go to the ice cream maker. If you guys can remember, and the one of, ones of you that have uh, made my sweet tea and my uh, half, half lemonade and half uh, tea, iced tea recipe, you remember that I told you guys, like let's have a little test. When you dissolve in sugar, sugar don't dissolve good in a cold liquid. Always remember this, just about with anything guys. When you're gonna put coal into sugar, like making some custards and stuff like that, you're gonna need to heat up the milk. Back in the days, wait, they call it scalding the milk. That's that means you're gonna temp, get that milk warm to just like maybe tiny bubbles. You're not gonna boil it. Get it warm to tiny bubbles, and then you put your sugar in it and dissolve it. So that that part I'm gonna already have did. I'm gonna put it on the stove. 
on sort of like a medium and then I'm gonna put the two cups of milk over there and then I'm gonna put the two cups of sugar and dissolve that and remove it from the stove and uh you know just kind of let it cool out you don't you don't need to get it boiling when you put the sugar and everything in there it's gonna cool it now so and then when you uh, remove it from the heat uh, you're gonna add your uh, half and half your vanilla and your salt and your uh, whipping cream gonna have that already that mixture already mixed up and um, ready to put into the ice cream churn, churn. When I come back over, that's what I'm, that's going to be the uh, biggest of what I'm going to show you. How you put it in the churn, churn and put the eyes to it, plug it up and let it go. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll discuss that more with you guys when we get to that part. Okay guys, let's get ready to get over to that ice cream churn and get ready for fun time, fun time. When we was a kid, this was fun time. I'll discuss that more with you guys when I get over there. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. And uh, I got my milks and creams and sugar uh, melted. I got some more over there. I just put it in this container so I can, it would be easy to pour. But uh, this, uh, this ice cream uh, freezer that I'm using, it makes four quarts. And it got a field line here somewhere. So, because if I have any extra... Uh, left over. I'm just, it'll just be left over. Well, I don't let me spill this. Just go ahead on and put that in here. This your sugar, your cream, your milk, and whipping cream. Let me get the rest of it. It got all the way up to it, but that's good enough. Guys, I got a little secret I'm going to tell you. You know how I told you guys to just scald the milk? My whipped milk went above or beyond scalding. But if it don't, if it don't work, it interferes with it somewhere. I won't show you all this commercial. And if it do work, that'll be a lesson for us. If you accidentally <laughs> scald the milk I'm too much. Won't show the commercial. I mean, what I say? What what I supposed to say? A lesson? Hmm? Yeah. A recipe. I don't even know what I said. That'll be a learning thing. If you get your milk too hot or whatever, that'll be a... Let me see, make sure I put this on right. Tuck usually hooks this thing up for me. But I just, this is your, uh, I really you would call that your churning blade. And this thing uh, got an indention down at the bottom that you got to fit it into and make sure it's up in that thing. Because I'm doing the right top. Looks like so far. <laughs> we know if it mess up. Well, <laughs> oh. now, let me get it down in this bucket. And this bucket got a little indention thing that it got to fit down in there. Guys, I have did this by myself, but uh, I was a lot younger. And uh, if Tuck was around, he just always All did. that indention do is just make sure you put it on that spot so that the... Uh, Thing will be centered in, yeah. in that too. That's that's correct. But see, let me get my coil on hooked. But what I was seeing with my eyes, I don't know what them dentions at. 
all look the same color. I can't see it. I just got to feel my way through. Guys, I had did a uh, uh, made ice cream in many, many years. Uh, after my sister and mother passed, a lot of things, we kind of went away from it. So I just thought this would be a fun thing to share with my YouTube family. Okay, it's got a little insertion, insertion right there. It's got to fit on top of the uh, tuck. I know you're probably saying, let me come over here and do it. Look at your cord. You're getting your cord on the inside. Uh, yeah, Pick yeah. all that up. Okay. I'm going right over there in them holes. I can't see the light. Got to blind it. Yeah, you okay. in there. No, I'm in there. Ooh. Seems like that light would be hipping, but with me, it ain't hipping. Put the, this one in over on this side. No, let me see it. Okay. Talk to the rescue. <laughs> do you want me to do something with the camera? Just no. nothing. Don't touch it. <laughs> so I'm messing up enough. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Plug it up. Well, we got to get our eyes in first. Okay, guys. Thanks, Tuck. Thank, thank you. I did used to do this when you wasn't here. Okay, guys, the next step after you done got your uh, mixture in there is to fill your, fill your bucket up with ice. Fill it up all around. And the way I do this, the way you will probably go by the instructions of your... Um, You just fill it up so far with ice and then you add your, your salt, maybe about a fourth of a cup or a third of a cup of the salt around and then just keep layering it like that. Get out the way. I can, see that. I can do better with my hand. Some of it ain't broken. I do it like this to it get cold. Let's tell you something guys about the hot about the eyes. Um, try to make Make sure you don't put too much salt on it because uh, when you put it around, it'll make it hard to breathe. And see these here, uh, these turns don't have a, I don't think it have an off and on switch on it. So you have to, um, when you put it up, it go to churn. It. And usually take about 30 to 40 minutes to churn. And if I remember it right, don't it cut off that stuff? I believe so. You think that's enough? I got some in the bottom there. I need to put some up in there. Look over by your, by your other hand. See if you got some on that side. Huh? On the back side. Come over Not here. Not that side, the other side. Right. I'm going the back side. This used to be the job for the kids, guys. Come over here. What are you saying there? On the other hand. Over there next to me. Hmm. Really got too much. Okay. That's probably about midway or whatever. Then I'm going to take and put some of the uh, rock salt. Rock salt on there. Help me out too. Put a layer of that brown on top of the eyes. That should be about plenty, shouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put some around the other side over there. Well, it's going to be locking up there together. I don't want to get it. You're going to put that because you don't know. Right. Come on, over no. here? Yeah, on that floor. I thought I got some. Let me get some ankle so we make sure we put it on there. Did I 
This is that size once the uh, cream gets firm and it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's going to freeze it. I like a lot of it with some ice till I get this bucket all the way filled. Where the cream and stuff is in, that's uh -huh. what you want to fill up. You don't want the bucket all the way to the top. Yeah, that's what I know. And that's, 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 that's be like it's full. Uh oh. Mm, that went on the phone. That's the crown. And then I can do about that. My cards and the Space there. Just pick the whole bowl if you just turn it over and it's, it's pretty low in the bowl. Just take the bowl and shift it over and spread it around. Got a lot of water. Yeah. Well, that's not pretty good. That's what I'm doing. We don't need some more ice, right? You do? Mm hmm. It ain't about to, it ain't up there yet. And you always try to make, you know, I would try to layer it around till we get this in two, two cups of Guys, I know you're probably thinking, uh, why didn't I leave this in toilet off of there while I was doing it? I didn't need to do that. This is the way we do it. It just seemed kind of awkward because I'm uh, doing it, I'm feeling it. I'm not going to need too much more ice. Okay. Make sure I'm good. Yeah, you're going to need to have the churn already down in here when you get fully filling it up with the ice. For us. That, that should be enough. Thank you. You know, sister, you guys go. Y'all stay with me. It ain't gonna take me much longer. So you know when I'm, I'm, I'm making the ice cream, you have more than enough help to help y'all. Cause kids always love this guy. Always make some grown kids, young kids, and all. This used to be the best time. We but we had the old fashioned ice cream makers. That we took turns churning and turning and churning and churning, turning and turning. That's the way we churn it, then. I think it's like cool. Can you see over here on the right side? Mm -hmm. It looks pretty cool. You can, you can add some as it, as it starts running, as it starts going down. You can add some more to it. Yeah, right. If you get it right, sometimes you don't have to. You know. You know, guys, if your ice cream don't be frozen enough and it doesn't stop uh, churning, what you do is just go back in with just some more ice and, and uh, salt. And if it starts getting too hard, and uh, sometimes you're making, you know, not if you ain't measuring how much you put up there, you can get too much of this salt up there on it. That rock salt. Yeah, rock salt. Rock salt. Ice, we used to call it ice cream salt, rock salt. I feel like I'm getting it too good up there on the side. Let's see. I don't need any more eyes, guys. I'm just getting it ready to plug up. It'll be a mess. Well, no, I ain't even got to show the video. I was like, we ain't had this thing out in so long. We didn't even test. I'll do a dry run to see that was it working or whatever. Put this over here. I feel like I got enough on here on this side. 
close to me. Okay, guys, let me get my hands rinsed off and dried. I do not plug up. You shouldn't need to plug up electricity uh, with wet hands. <laughs> We don't have to worry about that back in the days. And they probably had, you know, when we was doing that, there might have been some uh, electric. Uh, tell me what I'm going to call that over here, too. There might have been some machines out. But, you know, we didn't have them. But they were the best ice cream. Oh, and see, I, you know, I, I was up there at my grandmama's house in her lifetime when we had a combined um, family reunion with our aunts and all of them come in. They had made some, they had made a gallon of it the night before, put it in a container and put it in the freezer. And then because there was a lot of us, and then they, um, when they, uh, at a certain point at the uh, gathering, when everybody had got there, they were saying, it's time to make the ice cream and stuff. And uh, we would, uh, then they would make some then. So it would really be too, but it always ended up being enough. And my aunt, she had a big family and stuff. When you get that plugged up, we got a bunch of eyes and stuff that's on that, on that uh, cloth you got that sitting on. It'll melt. Okay. So that's why I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, okay. I don't want to put it on top of that ice, but that's okay. I don't want to, I ain't even touching it, and that's wet. Let me dry my hands off, guys. Container down in there. Okay, 
guys. Sit this nice and I'll drain the water off of that if I need to freeze it some more because that may be one of the things. We used to have our eyes out the freezer ourselves, but we had we bought this. Lord, I got any strength today. I'm trying to twist it. Well, it looks like we got something, girl. Still kind of soft. But I'm going to let the uh, freezer fill this up. I don't think I need to turn it anymore. Can't pull it out. I let the guy see it. Can they see it up? No. Oh, wait a minute. I get it up for Guys, if you want some soft, this is it. But I'm going to put this in the freezer and get it like ice cream. Hard like ice cream. Maybe that light over here on it. Hold it down. Mm hmm. Ooh, this look yummy, yummy, yum, yum. Yummy. Fuck, you should have came over here and mukbang this. <laughs> you do mukbang tuck? Mm hmm. <laughs> I do eating. I'm going to call it mukbang if you want to. <laughs> you want to come over and taste it for the guys? That's enough in there. You keep it I'm going to put it back in there to put it. Uh, guys, let me show you this here. Now I'm going to put Let it, me see it. I'm going to put it in this container to uh, uh, put it in the, uh, back in the freezer. I'll get you some and put it in, put it in a little bowl for you. Cutting up like that. <laughs> what a Man, this is good. good. <laughs> we ain't had none in a long time. Tuck love yeah, vanilla ice cream, strawberry. guys. That's really not that put no strawberries in it this time. He'll eat the strawberries. But uh I I just, now some cookies with this or some piece of cake. And we ain't got no pound cake. Right. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah. That's yeah, it. I, this is this is good ice cream here. <laughs> oh, thank you. So guys, okay, um, well, if you like soft serve ice cream, I could get it at Dairy Queen or some places like that. This is this is it right here. But we, we don't, don't want freeze. We don't let this freeze here though. Try yeah. to most of it anyway, except what I don't eat. <laughs> you ain't gonna eat all that ice cream. No, some no, bad. Shoot, no. As an old, as a as as humbly yeah, guys, this, this is it. Yeah, let me let me go ahead on and close it out, guys. I can't even. It's it's really froze out at the bottom. I can't even get my pedal out of there. Tucker to helped me get it out, and I may just uh once I get it out, like we used to do, is just freeze it. Just go ahead on and freeze it in the uh, container that is in, simply because it um uh, that helps it freeze Good harder quicker. Good vanilla taste. Ugh. I put some I put some extra vanilla in there. Can you taste it? Yeah, it's good. I yeah. wish I had some vanilla beans and stuff to put in here. Okay, guys, I'm gonna say we're gonna say uh happy Labor Day to you guys. Hope y'all have a fun time. Uh Britt's not coming home this time, so uh uh that's really we planted something simple. But so far, me and Tuck is just having fun. Let me get this off my finger. Mm. Ooh, you are right. Lord, I haven't had that taste in so long. Oh my God. Ooh, I 
I hadn't had that in a long time. So I'm going to say happy Labor Day to everybody. I hope you enjoy your Labor Day, whatever you plan to do. If you're going to have a big one with friends. Now we used to, this is another level for us. Because normally when our, my sister and mother lifetime, we always end the summer with one more gathering for us. Because, you know, the next time the family would be getting together would be at Thanksgiving. So uh, my sister always wanted to do something for Labor Day. Mostly it was grilling. We would go up to her house and grill. And I think the last one we had in her lifetime, we came down and I came down uh, here. We had it at, at, at the house. I have to think on that some more. But guys, you see how I did this? And uh, if you have an ice cream freezer, you probably just follow the directions on it. Um, you can call and ask me uh, anything that you need to ask. You know that, guys. And um, shout out to my daughter, uh, Britt Simone. Go check her um, channel out. She had planned a lot of, her and her friends were doing a, a lot of functions, birthdays, and all their little celebration like they do on Labor Day. And uh, so uh, she was going to spend it down there with them this time. And I'm kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of okay because the weather guys have uh, been kind of, it's been raining a lot and flooding and all that, that kind of stuff. And I was sort of, after she said that she was going to go ahead on and uh, spend the weekend at home, I was like, good, because this weather's been so iffy and I would have been kind of worried about her on the highway going and coming with being so much rain and stuff. We have had a lot of rain, guys, to fall. We thank God for it, you know, there's really nothing we can do about it, but you know, if we have in this here, you need to kind of govern yourself accordingly. If you know that uh, bad weather's in the plan, don't go taking, uh, trying to drive a long distance where you got to try to get back home and then you're going to be out there driving in that bad weather and stuff. And you know, a lot of people, it's not responsible out there on these cars. They drive like maniacs and stuff, even though you may be driving fine. You know, they driving like, you know, like they can drive as, uh, as fast on water as they can on dry land. Now, you know, the younger people nowadays, they don't think like we do. We Everybody knew, know that you cannot, when that highway is wet, that your them tires has not got any kind of traction. And you out there driving like 40 going north, that ain't a good thing. So, guys, um, hey, Britain Smudgy, Mario, Killing Kelsey, and Chick. I want to say hi to you guys. You're probably watch. I'm gonna tell you guys. Make sure you watch this because the ice cream making. Me and Tuck is having fun down here, and he was gonna do a lot of smoking, uh, smoking some meat, and I uh, was gonna share that with you guys. But um, he said he's not. He's not gonna do it now. So uh, I think we're gonna have some steaks, and you gonna where you gonna is you gonna grill them outside or the grill inside? You talking about yeah, we grill inside. inside. We'll yeah. Inside grill. We'll share that with you guys. So I'll see you back uh, sharing the grill and other meat. And then I'll top it off with putting an ins insert of the, uh, you know, what we have for dinner. So guys, like I say, go out. I mean, enjoy your Labor Day weekend in whichever way that your heart say and you feel content. We got to live, be thankful for the time that God have allotted us and try to, you know, enjoy it. Just enjoy it, guys. And when you're doing enjoy, when you enjoying stuff and having fun, you put your mind in a better space. Cause we got a lots going on in our world, and any kind of uh, break, the hour, or two, or three hours, or a whole day, we can get our minds off of what's going on in the world. Put it over in God's hand. That frees our mind up. You can't. We can't overpower this mind, especially us older people, because uh, you know it ain't as you know it ain't as strong as what it, uh, it's not as sharp as what it used to be. So we always doing. Me and Tucker's always doing little small things and and th uh, uh, to um, keep our mind functioning right. So guys, uh, remember what Mamie always told you guys. Okay, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and share me out of whatever you want to and uh, uh, leave me a comment uh, down below as to what you guys are doing for Labor Day. And if you don't make any homemade ice cream, 
go out to one of the little ice cream stands, take the family, the grandchildren, or whoever around you, and get you a cone of whatever kind of ice cream you like, and enjoy. And may God bless, may may love you, and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye, you guys.